the bike a bit further. This is Olivia's bicycle. I'm sure of it. Huh? What the? The brakes was been cut. Cut. A nice clean cut too. But there was no accident. If it's just a prank, it's a pretty lousy one. What should I do? I can't fix the brakes. I could find another way to keep her off this bike. I shouldn't damage it more just because it won't. Uh, I don't want her to ride it again. Hmm. Where could the key be? Bingo! That's Olivia for you. Hey, I know. I'll just pocket the key. If I've had it off the accident, I should. Uh, if I've had it off the. Hmm? What? Ne never mind that. <laughs> Alright, so that's enough. The accident shouldn't be pre prevented. So I'm be able to ride the back at this. I just like this. I'm back inside Kronos. How did I do? Did you hear? There was an accident yesterday at the intersection. I was looking home yesterday when it happened, like BANG! That's Olivia's voice, she sounds just fine. Phew. You mean a traffic accident? W were there any fatalities? Yeah, a dog. I saw it with my own eyes. Huh? A dog? A uh, dog. Just wait a second. Did, did I do that? The track is low, and that's when disaster struck. The kid was hurt, and the dog he had uh, with him was killed. A dog was killed? Ben? I know you're all thinking about Sheila right now. Let bygones be bygones, Ben. That wasn't your fault. Come on, it's ancient history. Easy for you to say. It wasn't you who turned to. Uh, it wasn't your turn to watch him. Sorry, get again. Huh? What are you talking about? This has never happened before. Looks like I didn't fix it properly. I've got to do something. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. Can't believe I actually caused a different accident. I have to make sure this one never happened too. Now. This is the chapter that annoys me the most. I'm going to talk about it later. This is where the accident uh, was, right? Across from Kronos. Could that be? That's him. That's the boy. What is it? Say, did you hurt your hand in a traffic accident yesterday? I'm not supposed to talk with strangers. Oops, S sorry about that. I'm Ethan Keros. I'm Jacob11, but you can just call me Jacob. Alright, Jacob. Were you in an accident here yesterday? Uh huh. And my dog Lucky like, died. So I was bringing him some treats. This is the boy, right? The same one from my fl flashback. Jacob, do you remember what kind of car caused the accident? Uh huh. Oh, what okay. But it had a refrigerator on, refrigerator on it. Wow, good job. It fell on top of Lucky. A refrigerator, huh? Loaded in, uh, onto a flatbed. Flatbed. Wow. Flatbed, maybe. So it must have. It might have been a truck. Dude, you already know what caused the accident. You saw another flashback, and Olivia told you before. The truck carrying the fridge. Do you know which way it came from? Um. Over there, it was going real fast too, so it must have come right through here. I seem to remember the road was kind of a slope. Got it. Thanks, Jacob. Sir, I'm going home now. Bye. So, about our new flashbacks. The very flashback we had earlier. So, the details should be the same, yet for some reason, we did not f know the full extent of it. 
What could this be? I'm still not quite sure. I knew it. This accident only happened because I changed the past. Everything's in place. Alright then. We're looking for a way to solve this problem. This is the spot I saw in my flashback. What time was it again? Maybe one of the people from my flashback can tell me. Well, we know one of those people. Oh, it sucks! Huh? That guy has the same mighting as socks. Wait a second, socks? Is that you? What socks doing all the way out here? What is it? Hey, what did you have there? Huh? That light, the color, it's just like the hollow pen. Where could Sox have found something like this anyway? Whoa, what the? Where did it go? That ball of life, light. Did it. Did you suck onto the pen? About crons. You may see crons scattered around here and there on the map. These balls of energy can fall out of midair when someone uses the holo pen to change the past. Each crown collected uh, returns one use of the holo pen. The more you collect, the more holes you can open. Basically, this is the way to save yourself if you're not good with a holo pen. Just visit places where you change time back and you're going to find some of them. Sucks will always be there to give it to you. So, we're looking for one of the people that was in that slope. And we know that one of them should be Olivia. Welcome, welcome! Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I just... Your friends have all gone home. They sure did look bummed out. What happened? Bummed out? Oh, because I changed the past. Bummed down, eh? So, what's up? Actually, Olivia, I need to ask you something. Oh, you want to know if I like you? N no, that's not it at all! <laughs> gotcha. Oh, you're blessing. How cute is that? You don't have to be shy around me. Come on, what is it? Uh, so, I'd like to ask you. Do you know about the accident at the intersection? Oh yeah, the accident yesterday. The one where the dog was killed. Do you remember seeing a truck in the alley? A truck in the alley? Hmm... Doesn't look like she remembers much at all. Let me ask you something else. Do you remember seeing a person in the alley? A person in the alley last night? <laughs> yes, Olivia. Yeah, she had a shirt with hearts on it and her head tied up like this. Like what? <coughs> Alright, I may be dying, but that's not going to stop me. Aha, that's who it was, Sarah. Huh? Sarah Tennyson. She works at the library. That's right, we passed each other in the alley last night. Sarah from the library. I should talk to her. Thanks a lot, Olivia. Huh? That's all you wanted? Uh, yep, yeah, that's all. See you later. Okay, come again. So, off to the library yet again. Oh, Ethan, it's you. If you talk to Emily at this point, there's something going on, isn't there? Location-wise, I'd say, um... In some street, maybe? So, if you check your flashbacks, only one of them has a street or something. That's, well, what you should be looking into. Again, very helpful clue. Can I help you? It's Sarah, at least. 
That's what Olivia said. Better talk to her. Um. Yes. Yesterday at this intersection. Yes, there was an accident. And evolved the truck. Yes, that's right. Did you see it too? I knew it. She's the woman from my flash black. Flash black. Yes, flash black. Totally not what I pictured though. Actually, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you know about the accident in the intersection? Of course I remember. A refrigerator fell off the truck, right? Do you remember seeing a truck in the alley? I saw the truck before the accident happened. I wish I'd been able to warn the driver. Do you remember what time it was? It happened just I had gone to buy some more soy sauce. I'd say around 8.40? 8.40, yeah? Got my time. Thank you very much. So, now that we have our time, let's check our flashback. It figures that Sarah would have a photographic memory. Now that all the info is in place, I should be able to handle the rest. Yep, our flashback has been verified. So off we go to save Lachi and Jacob. B, 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 alright, here we go. And another B. And another B, no, I'm kidding. Off to the intersection. And from there, oh, hello Maurice. Maurice? Oh, hey Ethan. What are you doing here? I heard about it at Chronos and... Well, you mean about the accident? Uh huh, that poor dog. Did everyone go home already? Yeah, pretty much right after you left. Oh, I'd better head home too. See you around. Yeah, see you. Notice how Maurice has an interest about dogs. That's all I have to say. This is where the truck was parked. And the pen is glowing too. I should be able to do something. I'm going to save Jacob's dog. The holder of the pen must have the time to use it. That's what I said on the letter. That one that came with the watch. The holder must have the time. So that's my time. Will I lose my time by using a hollow pen? But Jacob's dog would still be alive if it weren't for me. Yes. Perfect. So, you want to make a hole around here? Here we go. There's nothing here. No, is there. This is it. This is it. And we want to examine the ropes. So this truck carrying a refrigerator, huh? Someone out there is moving. Someone besides me! Who's there? Cory, what are you doing here? This is another past for you to change. P what are you talking about? I saw a picture of this place once already, because you changed it with your pen. You know about my pen? You don't mean you have one too. No, I don't. This hole open you speak of is invisible to me. But soon you'll realize. Realize what? The pictures you and I see only appear because someone has changed the past. And that includes the changes you make yourself. So, are there others like me out there with pens like mine? Never mind that. Are you going to make some changes here or what? Oh, uh, I want to get in your way this time. Who is that Cory character anyway? Yes, the story is strange. This way the fridge should stay put on the flatbed. It pays to be extra careful when fiddling with the past. You've got to do what you can to avoid unforeseen side effects. That should do it. 
and let's close the hole. Oh, you honestly. I believe that sounds silly enough. Come on, lighten up. Ah. Huh? Man, still mopping around though. Okay, I'll call you later. Sure, after work would be great. Did you just say, sure? Who's that guy? Huh? Oh, um. I think his name is Aaron. My battle is like totally out of commission. If it's not one thing, it's another. He is missing, and in time, it's not my brakes are cut too. Hey, maybe someone got it in for you. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, probably not. I'd feel safer if you sunk by and picked me up though. That's really why I called you in the first place. Sounds good, see you later. Bye! Ethan, you look lost. Long story short, Ben here had, has had his heart broken today. How can you be so glimp? I'm hurting here! Wow. I'm not sure that it's worth changing. Sorry, Ben. Phew. I don't have any time to look for clues for mom and dad. So other people have pens like this one. I'm the one to blame. I just have believed Ashley all along. Who have changed the past like that? And for what? No way. Was someone behind mom and dad disappearance too? The pictures you and I see only appear because some has changed the past. And that includes the changes you make yourself. That Cory is a real mystery. How can she move around like that if she doesn't have a pen? I'll have to ask her at school tomorrow. Alright, so let me explain what I said before. Let's say that we have four timelines. One where Olivia is safe, the first one, the one that we saw. One that Olivia dies because of the accident. The one that Jacob, uh, Jacob Lucky dies because of that accident. And the last one where nothing happens and the timeline is pretty much the same as the first. So. The reason Lighty was hit was because we changed the past. However, we only changed Olivia's way to travel. Lighty should have been there on the first time the accident happened. Maybe not exactly below the fridge and died because Olivia was there. But Lighty should have been there on the first timeline. And he should have been involved with the accident. Olivia should have told us. Olivia should have mentioned that. Because we did nothing to change the truck's road and we did nothing to change Jacob and Lucky's road. That's all. The, it just trains in my head. He should have been involved in the first accident. That's all I have to say. And if we knew that, we would have been able to save him from the get-go by just tying the, sea, the, the fridge. That's all I have to say. So, I'm going to see you guys next time.